I took a little diversion on the way back from filming last week's video. It is very cold and windy at this altitude, but tucked away in the Swiss Alps, there's a military airfield with not one, but two public roads that go straight across the runway. And I've wanted to see this for a long time. This is Meiringen Air Base. And not only do the fighter jets here have to cope with civilian traffic crossing their runway, but the spectacle of military aircraft roaring down the tarmac attracts tourists from all over the world. So I wanted to ask, how do they operate an air base where the public aren't just turning up to watch, but they can also walk, ride or drive straight through. I don't know how many times I took off, how many times I landed, but I'd say uh, around 100 takeoffs, which equals 100 landings, but every single one is, is very cool. There, at times there can be a lot of tourists and observers all around the airfield, especially in summer. They stay behind the barriers, they are outside of the fence, but it's all threat level dependent. So at the moment we're at peace, there's no problem. If we were to find ourselves in a crisis, would be another story. Okay. All right, where am I allowed to stand? All right, look, Tom. Right yep. here, you're going to be all safe. Yep. The jets are going to come from that side. Going to take off here. Okay. Right here you're safe. <laughs> I mean, you fly them, so... I do. <laughs> when we're ready for takeoff, the air traffic controllers close the barriers. They themselves have a look if they see anything suspicious. And then uh, whenever the barriers get closed, there's guys from the military police on both sides of the barriers. Also, there's the uh, runway controller who uh, observes every takeoff and every landing. He could step in as well. So we as pilots, we can't do much ourselves. There are a few other runways in the world with roads across them, but they're all very small and very remote. In Sumbra, on the island of Shetland in the far north of the UK, there is a commercial airport with a similar setup across one of its two runways, but that is very remote. It used to be that the only road in and out of Gibraltar went right across a massive airport runway, one that took full-size passenger jets. But there is finally a new tunnel there now after years of delays, so cars and trucks no longer go that way. So this runway here in Switzerland would be just a little side note if it wasn't for the tourist industry that sprung up around it. If you're the sort of aviation or military nerd that wants to see fighter jets up close and personal, this is probably on your list of places to visit. And if you didn't know about it before this video, it probably is now. There's a very nice restaurant just off the base. One of the hangars is open to the public occasionally, and there's a massive military air show every October. This place is good PR for the Swiss Air Force. If ever there should be anyone between the barriers, um, when we're coming back to land, we would be ordered a go around. So we would abort our approach, climb again, and do a second approach um, whenever the issue has been resolved. When we take off, it's basically the other way around. We taxi towards the runway, and once we report ready to the air traffic controller, they close the barriers and uh, they give us our clearance to take off once everything is settled. It's not like there are any statistics to compare, but that crossing is probably more safe than most railroad crossings. Although, to be fair, the rail industry is trying to get rid of as many of those as they can because they are an unnecessary safety risk. No one's going to build a tunnel like the anywhere near. At least just one more thing. I cannot explain how loud that was. I've got full ear defender earplugs in. I think it might have broken my microphone. Wow! We had one take to get that. I hope I didn't fluff my lines.